Coming to the question, why Python? It's a very simple question and with a very simple answer. But it wouldn't cover the depth of uh, the answer that uh, I would like to convey. First of all, whenever someone comes across programming language, it is uh, something like a, a, uh, a, a student who comes and sees calculus. For some it is very easy, some just pick it up and uh, for the rest it's, it's very difficult. Similarly, in case of programming languages, it has been uh, an experience uh, that most of would attest to is that a lot of people struggle with programming in general. However, what Python gives is the ease with which you can write your programs. Now, it's very, it's something that every language would tell you that they are very easy to use, that they are uh, very easy to conceptualize in. But Python has proven it. And uh, it is not just the Python community which will uh, tell you that. It is an uh, acceptable fact. Whoever looks at Python will understand why it is easy to work with Python. It has uh, statements like, if x is in container now that is just an example of uh, what a statement would look like in case of python let's contrast it with an example from another language like java if you have to write something like this then it would be if container dot contains x now that's a bit cryptic for most people these are the things that turn them off from programming in general now this is a very uh, rudimentary example this is something that uh, is not does not even cover the depth of ease, uh, ease that python brings to the table however it's a good example to show how python is much more easier to uh, comprehend as a language and at the same time how much you can express using that language the next reason why python makes sense is data science is all the rage now even artificial intelligence machine learning all these things that you hear about uh, in the world of computer technology and they have taken a world by storm in all of these technologies python has created a niche space for itself not many languages contain that in fact data science is partially the reason uh, data science artificial artificial intelligence and uh, all these uh, new machine learning stuff that is coming in they are partially the reason that gave python the boost in the community for people to pick it up and the more the people have picked it up the more they have uh, invited others uh, in a way and that has led to the exponential growth of Python developers in the world moving on this uh, the next point is uh, a con continuation in a way of the previous one a lot of companies are using Python of course there are a lot of companies who are also using Java and there are some companies who are still using COBOL I think maybe not but uh, the point being there are some technologies that exist and a lot of companies have uh, moved towards and uh, are not able to move away from java would be one such example and there's a lot of trust uh, in the corporate world for that language however we have so many startups so many other companies even one of those uh, not just one many of those uh, corporates moving towards python because it gives the tools for not just the developers but also the analysts also uh, those who are into in, in the design if they want to uh, come up with some prototype if they want to uh, show some examples uh, write some code examples and test their own theory then python is easy to pick up and do that even if you are a non-developer even if you don't want to use python for development per se you would find that python helps you write simple scripts which you can use uh, in your daily work life or even your daily life if you're interested in some kind of uh, hardware interfacing again 
Python has a great community around it. There are a lot of uh, professionals and uh, uh, trainers and uh, documentation work that is out there for people to learn from. This community has uh, spearheaded the growth of Python as a language. And companies like Google back Python. Uh, they hired the creator of Python. And that is how they are contributing to the language, which is why the language is growing. Right now, Python, uh, one of the most famous version was 2.7, which was when I started learning Python. And we have moved to 3.8. In our company, we're still using 3.6, and this course uh, would be working with 3.5 or 6. It's up to you. I mean, uh, whatever we do here will have no problem between them. The only switch uh, that Python had a disrupting effect in uh, the uh, amongst the user community was moving from 2.7 to uh, 3. Dot whatever version, and that disruption has caused a lot of people to uh, look elsewhere. But even though there are some people like that, most of them have uh, embraced the change and the growth of the language itself, and all the great things uh, that the newer and newer versions of Python are uh, introducing in the life of the developers which help them uh, in terms of their productivity, in terms of their expressiveness is just mind blowing. Which is why I think that Python is not just set to uh, take over the world but I think it is also uh, going to be the language that kids will have to learn in order to uh, do their basic things maybe in some future so i'd like to uh, wish, you, wish you all the best and uh, we can uh, move to the actual uh, topics in python